Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Kingdoms of Amalur Re-Reckoning with me, Bring It On. I was off camera, I spent a little bit of time in the Forsaken Plain looking for these notes uh, for this quest that I realized I didn't finish last episode. So it, the last sentence there says, The notes are likely scattered in the outdoor spaces and dungeons of the Forsaken Plain, but their exact locations are unknown. That tells me that they're going to be in the Forsaken Plain. That's wrong. Uh, to my everlasting shame, I had to look up where these were located. Uh, the two notes that I'm missing are both in Rathir. The first one is on this bookshelf in the Scolia Arcana Library. These scribbled notes belong to the famous historian Aidwald, and are a partial account of the only battle ever waged between the summer and winter courts of the Fae. In 1230 BE, King Issa rose to power in Dalantarth. In his early years, years, years Issa traveled widely throughout Alfaria and Fortinmar, opposing as a Heron... Hirinhar? On his return to the west, he accumulated a large following as a war leader and lore master, and he soon embarked on a campaign to conquer and unify the widely scattered local groups of Fae. After successfully conquering Dalantarth, he reorganized these local clans into the three great houses of the modern Seelie court, and brought civilization and Fae culture to the western Fae lands. Fae lands, shh. There's a typo. A couple typos in that. So I spent... I spent a fair bit of time looking for these notes over here, because, again, the quest says that's where they should be. A little disappointed that was not the case. But I am being punished for my lack of due diligence. I should have checked every container in Rithir when I was here previously. Well, this is the second quest I had to look something up for. Uh, the second, or the first one was the one on Gallows End to find the last piece of the Divergent set that I'm currently wearing. Because how the heck are you supposed to know that that random mud crab had a uh, had a piece of the set? So I was assuming that these notes that I'm looking for right now were uh, put in random containers in the Forsaken Plain. And so, like, maybe I missed them on my first pass, but then I went back through the second time. Because I usually don't miss containers. I loot everything that I see. So it would be weird for me to miss those. And the second one is right here. Now, this counts as stealing. So let's wait it out for a second. I don't know if it's Wild Frold or Wild Frold. By the Talisman of Fate. Later, the body of Lord Own was discovered, dead, uh, naked, stripped of his potent enchanted armor and weapons. Lord Issa survived the battle, only to die a few days later after declaring victory in the Gardens of the Seelie, which were later named the Gardens of Issa. Before his death, Lord Issa ordered the plane's search for the page in the Talisman of Fate, but neither were ever found. Also, coincidentally, the quest that we picked up last episode, uh, where's it at? The Messenger, takes us to this store as well. Don't you just love the luminary leaf? I could sit here reading for days and not reach past the first shelf. Uh, Rathir. Arch Sage, you know Rathir as well as any of us. Its secrets, its power. I should be asking you about the city. Okay, uh, Ram. Leodwald has died. How do you know my brother? Wait. He's dead? Ram. No. It can't be. I told him. I told him this would happen, but he wouldn't listen. Pig-headed fool! War isn't the way. Anyone who knows history knows that. But Ram was too impatient for words. He was so brash. So... Brave. A Ram Leodwald. We couldn't have been more different, Ram and I. He always excelled at hunting, fighting, combat. Me? I was always the family joke. A boy with his nose in a book. What Ram never knew, and will never know now, is that I admired him greatly. I wanted to be like him. Strong. 
Confident. Passionate. True, I believe that the Crystal War is a doomed affair, but my criticism of it was more about keeping my brother home. Home. Safe. All right, well, more bad news delivered. Let's, uh... Let's deliver some more bad news. Well, first, let's go talk to that scholar about this darn quest. Over in a mare. This quest has been sitting around for too long. Heck, this guy probably forgot he even sent me out on this quest. This is a red letter day indeed. All of the greatest works in one place. Awol, Dalston. You are a medical worker, my friend. Here are some gifts for you. Take them. They pale in comparison to your good deeds, but they are all I have. A lot of people are giving me all they have. It's not a smart business move. I'm sure some of them are lying about it. Alright, so next quest, uh, we probably knock out some more of the messenger. Oh, there's another one here in uh, Rathir. Oh, wait, is the other one in Melson Shear? I don't think that's right. Who doesn't want me to deliver the Diadin and Ed Star? Rathia sails with you this day. Godspeed. More blood for the wall. I don't want to sail. Ships are loading now for Melsen Shear. Are you ready to board? I am not. Suit yourself. Alright, so it doesn't look like we're finishing this quest yet. But we can at least turn in the next part in Iron Fast Keep. It's weird that it's taken me to talk to him. Because I have other quests that have uh, markers over here in this region instead of uh, taking me to the. Uh, Darn it, the guy that's supposed to take me across the ocean. Or across the strait, whatever it's called. The halls of Ironfast Keep are at your command, True Shield. Uh... Mal or Mal? Dieden has died. No! What? You bastard! That rotten, useless idiot! How could he do this to me? He said he'd come back! Please, you must be mistaken. Please, tell me it's someone else. That fool. Go away, please. Uh, Mal Dieden. Don't you ask about him! How dare you, you insensitive coward! Leave me be! Went from uh, saying that the Ironfast Keep was at my service because I'm a true sworn to calling me a coward. All right, so we can't finish this quest yet. Sadly, I was hoping we could, but that's not to be until we sail sail to Melson Shear. But we can go back to Whitestone. We have that quest inside the mayor's house. Uh, where's it at? Yeah, this one. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> 
Oh yeah, so I don't think I showed this off, uh, but after I got the... When I finished the Warsworn quest line, I equipped a different... A medallion. Since I didn't need that extra plus one to my abilities, I equipped the Doctor's Medallion, which gives me 10% poison resist, 10% health, and plus 10% health regen per second. So we have a ton of health at 1291 and a ton of health regen. Yeah, I'm not gonna waste lockpicks, I'm just gonna use Prismere. Layer, let layer. Letter to Mayor Eswin. Hope you're faring very well after your recent arrival in Whitestone. Don't be fooled by the dust and the heat. Apatir can be quite beautiful, especially in the evenings when the stars show their faces, peeking out from behind the smoke of Odessa's fires. You won't find a better view of the heavens anywhere. My sister Senda suggested that I write to you on behalf of our family, the Grass Stars. We're a clan of proud, simple people, miners by trade, originating from the western lands of Miria, where our family supported Almir and its unification of the Almain tribes. It has always been our way to fight for what we believe, and to labor hard for the roof above our head the clothes that keep us warm, and the meals that fill our bellies. It's not our way to take our blessings for granted, but I can stay silent no longer. My daughter Tyne is dying. A mother says it's the waters and the snake tail, but the gnomes assured us that it was clean. The scholars tested it time and again. Still my little girl coughs blood. It's terrible to hear Mr. Elfheim, or Elfhelm, a white cough that shades the sun and turns the blood to ice. I can hardly bear to hear it. Sometimes when the night falls and the fits take my time, I slip outside to marvel at the stars, and to wish myself far away from this desert death. All of my life I've embraced the rolling dunes of Epitir. Now I see only graves waiting to be dug. You are the mayor of Whitestone, the leader of our people here in Apatir. Can you not demand that the gnomes take responsibility for the pain they've wrought upon us, their willing servants? They will not listen to us. They have ignored our pleas for aid. My father has even traveled to Odessa and confronted the Templars at the Basilica Nostra to no avail. They turned him away, claiming that the secrets of their people could not be shared. Of course, these same secrets may be killing us. Please, Mayor Eswin, if you have any compassion, you will seek me out. Or better yet, you will go straight to the source of our agony and get the truth from the gnome scholars of modus mining interests, those responsible for the disaster that has befallen us all. As the old apatir saying goes, our bones are stone, our hearts the sun. We may be born of the dark halls, but we rise into light. Thank you for reading this. Mathara bless you. Your friend, Hess Grastar. Confession of Mayor Teklari. Confession of Mayor Wesley Teklari. Or Taklari. Before my fate goes black, before the folds of death envelop me, I wish to confess one last act, one that puts all my others to shame. When the gnomes of modus mining attempted to test the new sluice mechanism, much of the contaminants they were hoping to divert from the runoff ended up in the river. The Snaketail River is a water source for many citizens of this burnt land, and I cannot rest knowing I am responsible for their deaths. I needed aid in covering up this tragedy. May I be darned. I found this aid from the travelers, one in particular by the name of Lena Ardeen. With Lena's help, I was able to keep the public ignorant, although modus did learn of these actions and planned their abrupt exit. I cannot continue with this on my conscience. I cannot. I have been a tool of the gnomes, and I am forever marked as such. Mayor Westless Teklari. You find a ragged document written, written in a shaky hand. It is a signed confession by the former mayor of Whitestone, Mayor Teklari. Why would Lena be so interested in this? Because she is not a good person. So it seems. See if we can confront her about that. Careful out there. Oh, she's in Sun Camp now. Alright, well, let's not go to Sun Camp yet.
All right, we'll just map out the uh, the region, I think. Collect all the lore stones. Unlock all the fast travel points for future exploration. You know, same old, same old. That's right, we needed meat for the other quests, so this will work. I think that's a task though, isn't it? Yeah, I collect animal meat. Well, at the very least we can turn in some of this, see how much she pays for, for rat meat. Glad the game's starting to give me some more lockpicks. So it's starting to run a little dry. <laughs> My eyes peeled for any corpses so I can find the rest of those uh, modus mani. Ledgers. Tiberian Helm. Queen Hroda's extravagantly enchanted helmet has never been worn in battle. That's pretty cool looking. Decent regen across the board too. Yeah, not a, not a bad looking helmet. This gives me like a Tuscan Raider vibe to it. We'll go north first. Does it connect anything? No, this should just be a dead end. Desert Runner stopped. She had never heard Rattlesnake speak before. His voice was a slow, nasty hiss, and that greatly disturbed Desert Runner. Please, Desert Runner, my voice is harsh, and yours is so pretty. You are so fast and so much braver than me. Can you bring me a voice like yours? Desert Runner thought for a moment and then said, I will lend you some of my voice and put it in your tail. That is why the rattlesnake clicks. I don't think that's why that does that. It's like saying, uh, the reason why alligators are so angry is because they have all those, all those teeth and no toothbrush. All right, let's turn this into, what's your face real quick for the rat meat. Hey there, how can I help? Sell animal meat. I thought I could smell meat on you. Thanks a lot. You really helped me out. Come back any time, and I'll buy more meat off of you. Yeah. Oh, wow, no, 754 per piece. Okay, I was expecting 754 for the whole haul, but that's, uh, that's a good payout if you need money. Jeez, okay. Not quite what I was expecting.
Hey, Gaia's uh, Chaucy's. Or Gaia's Chaucy's. He was like, surrender now. Well, he didn't get to finish his sentence, because I cut him down. We can inspect these. All right. Grave of Ega Gulfred. We'll always miss you, Ega. The sun of Apatir shine brighter with you nearby. Tyne Grastar. Oh, this is the the girl that we read about. Or yeah. My bones may lie with. The, sorry, my bones may lie beneath the sand, but my soul's with the swallows. Saint Edric, we love you, Tyne. Horsa Triotic. Here rests Horsa Triotic and her unborn child, victims of the poisonous Snaketail River. Darn you, Modus. Oh, are these all victims of this poisoning? Hama Scoria. Memory of Hama Scoria, wife, mother, and aunt. May the Maker give you peace in your endless slumber. Myth Beodith. Uh, beneath lie the remains of Myth Beodith, a minor cousin poet, killed by the cold blooded Sinric boys. May they rot. And with our grant him peace. Then Igar Dolfred. Beneath lie the remains of Igar Dolfred, minor father, killed by the waters of the snake tail. May with our grant him rest in peace, in keeping, with the, in keeping with the authority's order. Cannot read, can't talk today. Both of which are overrated. Does this take us to, uh,. Okay, so that loops back around. Got it. Got it, got it. Hey, Gaius Greaves. I thought it's almost the whole Gaius set. I have, I want to say, four pieces now. The bird turned to leave, but again, Rattlesnake stopped her. I'm sorry to trouble you again, Desert Runner. But your patterns are so beautiful, and my scales are plain. Can you bring me a pattern like yours? I will paint on your back with my feet, Desert Runner said. That is why Rattlesnake is decorated with diamonds. Uh, is it faster to just go straight south? Yeah, we can go a little east here. the point in coming up here? Oh, another chest. It's a little weird to navigate. Since there's chests underneath as well.
All right, so we've been, well, we didn't unlock this area yet. Well, this is neat looking. Oh, this must be a gnomish. Yeah, modus mining headquarters. We'll deal with that later. talk to this guy? Stag Darkvari. Oh wait, this is the guy we saved. I can't be seen around Whitestone, not after what we've done. Go to Darkvari Mine and get my things. I'll be waiting for you down in Snaketail Trench. Go! I hope they don't drink the water. Him and, uh, Hritty? Hurdy? Whatever her name is. Uh, Whitestone. You mean Bone Town? Not my favorite place in the world, if you couldn't tell. If the heat doesn't kill you, the guards might. Is it above or below? It's below. <laughs> At least the game does a good job of adding a bunch of like jump points, so if you get stuck up high, you can usually jump down to where you need to go. Pretty quickly. It's a good good design choice. Be a nice little touch of it as you're walking through the uh, river right there. You're getting poison damage or something. All right, modus mining days 45 to 50. Administrative memorandum: uh, the snake tail is death. A single day of drinking the water from the river will result in boils. That is how it begins: large reddish boils that explode on contact. When the goi then the goi then the goiters begin to grow. And the lesions that seep endlessly. By the third day, the subject develops a wet cough and his eyes bleed. It is far too late. We buried more than 100 miners, along with their families. Men, women, and children. I wish no ill will toward the people of Apatir, but this incident must be contained. It may injure the large reputation of modus mining interests and all of its operations across Amalur. I've been finding a lot of stuff, that makes sense. It's about time I got... I had a full inventory. Uh, there's a chest up here that I missed. Right above me. Oh, because it's below the ramp. Oh, the Cinerics are in heavy armor. Cool. Take a lot more damage than the other. The other factions. Takes about three hits. Maybe four hits. Compared to the two hits that it takes to take out uh, the Dark Vari and other family. Whose name I don't remember. I'm sure it's not important. That's Odessa over there. What is this? Convex Cavern. Oh, hey. Hogni Boar. You're not supposed to be sniffing around over here. Go on, get. Don't tell me what to do. A Whitestone Jail. We've got your usual drunks, thieves, and killers. Most of them are from Whitestone, but a few hail from the outlying mines. Too bad you're not permitted inside. You might pick up a useful skill or two. Anything to survive in Apatir. A white stone. I've seen many villages beyond hope, but none so far gone as Whitestone. It would be better left to the dust. A Hogni Boar. Working down here in Apatir is the best job I've ever had. All I've got to do is stand in this spot, dawn to dusk, and make sure the riffraff don't enter. 
A boggart could do it. Uh, Apatir. The gnomes carved the place to pieces and then picked up and left before the dust hit the ground. They took everything, left nothing. Keep walking. Keeping the riffraff out, huh? Even a boggart could do it. So they say. All right, we want to grab this stuff. Well, this is no real reason to grab it. We'll be fine. We'll grab it. I can't get further in here. He's just gonna keep patrolling right here, isn't he? Well, I can probably just steal it and then uh. Pay it off. I'm looking to see if there's any bodies in there to loot. Because I want that last uh, modus mining letter. Like in this one. Alright, where's the lever at? Hey. You there. Halt. Don't Here. Let me Goodbye. Pay the money. They did not let me... Uh, a different lever for each door? Usually it's just one lever for the whole whole dealio, right? Yeah, this one's open now. Which also has a thing back here. Yeah, I guess there's a different lever for each door. Uh-oh. So, Rizarf's Guidance. A Rizarf, more comfortable in the lab than on a campaign. Found the scepter handy for heating alembics, often with dramatic effect. Alright, well, let's see what it looks like. That's pretty cool. Alright, any more levers? I gotta find levers. So I could just lockpick that one. What about this other one over here? Is there not a lever? I can't even interact with this one. I just wonder if it's part of a quest later. Because there's a thing in there to loot. Gotta get in there somehow. Stay out of yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'll waste too much time on it. Let's hope that that's not something that I need to do. Alright. Let's get out of here. We still have a region to map out. Normally I wouldn't fret about the single skeleton to loot, but it requires a quest. Or it's part of a quest. Potentially. Third time the bird prepared to leave. Desert Runner, you have helped me so much, and I thank you. But I still need one thing. You are a skilled hunter, and I am always hungry. You never use your wings to fly. Let me have them so I can hunt like you. 
Desert Runner said. I have given you my voice and gilded you with my labors. Now you would take my wings and take my freedom too? You ask too much of me, Rattlesnake. I will not help you any longer. Yeah, he's trying to become a dragon. It's not me a rattlesnake anymore. Oh, this must be it. This is a gnome. Nope. Ambush like that over and over again. It's just trying to loot bodies, man. I'm always nervous when I try to force the lock because sometimes it just doesn't work. Never be too careful. Is that a, oh, that's a reagent. I'm not going to worry about that. Alright, let's go unlock Odessa real fast. Buds bloomed and the willows wept. Hear us, firstborn. Hear us, flesh ones. Own forsakes his throne for a bed of crows. Your people still search for Own's body lost in the marsh. You scour the sand for the talisman of fate, although it is already yours. The gardens of Issa are summer. The Tuatha de Own, the entropic legacy. Learn well the ways of both Issa and Own, lest the withering return. <laughs> Alright, what was that? What does that set do? More stone, Somerset. Plus one health regen per second. Awesome. can jump down. I'm not going to risk it in case I miss something on the way. Oh, this will be the last lore stone for Apatir as well. Rattlesnake grew so angry that poison filled his mouth. He lunged at Desert Runner, but the bird was too fast. Rattlesnake cried after him. I will seek your nest, Desert Runner. I cannot kill you, but you cannot save all of your children. That is why Desert Runner searches for Rattlesnake, and Rattlesnake hunts the defenseless. His Rattlesnake is a jerk. And did we finish that one? I didn't catch it. Where's it at? Status, lore stones. Apatir, plus 4% health. Awesome. I 
pick am I stuck on? All right. Well, that does it. We revealed the whole map. Have plenty of questing still to do. We did not. Oh, never mind. It's uh, on a jump point. That's why. I think in the next episode we will go to Sun Camp. Go ahead and talk to that. That way we can break up some of the talking with the questing. And we'll get more quests at Sun Camp as well. We'll start by talking to Lena Ardeen and pursuing that quest. And then we'll uh, go to Sun Camp. And uh, speak to all the NPCs there, get whatever quests they have to offer, and that'll probably do it for the entire next episode. We'll see. A lot of stuff to do here. I wonder how big each one of these dungeons are, because it's a lot of dungeons for one region. Only one way to find out. Anyway, I'm going to call the episode here, and uh, thanks for watching. Hope to see you guys in the next one.